Hello, and once again, we are logging into Club Penguin. This time we are going to Club Penguin Rewritten just to check it out. There is supposed to be a winter party going on. So we're going to join Zipline. And as you can see, I've recreated my penguin for Club Penguin Rewritten as well. I have it on CP Online as well. Club Penguin Ooh. A snowflake t-shirt. Have an ice day. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, this play, Haunting of the Viking Opera. How off I remember this one. I always liked this play a lot. But that's always been one of my favorite plays from uh, hey, music. It sounds a lot like Mario. <laughs> oh man. Keep in mind that this is a much more simplified version 
of uh, Club Penguin. Because Club Penguin rewritten is actually stylized a lot more according to the older version of the game. So you don't have all the fancier areas that you once used to have, you know. I'm not exactly sure if that's always a good thing or not, but there's always, you know, the, the simple fact of the matter is, sometimes simple is better. In my own experience, sometimes simple is a lot better than complicated. Mm-hmm. So, of course, that's just simply my honest opinion. We're going to the ski hill. And again, there doesn't seem to be too many people around. kind of cool. Yeah, that, 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 that's actually honestly really awesome. Again, don't expect an awful big fancy setup here. Um, not in uh, not this version of Club Penguin. No, there won't be anything too fancy. Hmm. Uh, and there's no igloos to visit either. That's interesting. Oh well. Hmm. With that being said, the, the one thing that they did keep in here that I do think is very interesting is they did keep the recycling center. So, that's cool.
actually kind of cool. So basically, you recycle garbage and you turn it into buoys or something like that. Okay, makes sense to me. Why not, right? <laughs> oh, here it is. Yeah, it's the winter party. And as you can see, the coffee shop is not very fancy. of Club Penguin that I actually remember. I may as well explain that because I definitely remember it when it was, you know, very really simple, you know. It didn't really have all the fancy bells and whistles that uh, CP Online seems to follow. I mean, the tradition between Club Penguin Rewritten and CP Online is it's, it's a very big difference. everyone gets their own free t-shirt. That's nice. Mm -hmm. This is how I really want to remember Club Penguin. I really want to remember it as, you know, very simple and basic. And like I said, there was, there was nothing complex about this place. You know, it was all very simple, it was all very casual. There was just... There was just no bells and whistles about it. definitely trying to en encompass, you know, Club Penguin before it actually, you know, went offline officially. And it was very complicated, very fancy, fancy smancy. I don't know. I never really understood the scene much myself. But, you know, maybe in the long run it doesn't make any difference. You know. So... I, I guess what I ultimately have to say is, love it or not, you know, you can either love it or leave it. You know, you can basically take your pick as to which which version you like best. You know, personally, like I say, each version offers you a chance to experience Club Penguin. Uh, you can either remember Club Penguin like from way back in like two thousand. 7, 2008, which is basically how um, Club Penguin Rewritten has been styled. Or you can go to CP Online and experience Club Penguin in the somewhere like 2012 to 2014 or something like that before it actually shut down, you know, for good. I just, I don't, my mind doesn't really remember exactly when that was, but... Uh, Club Penguin Rewritten is, is clearly, you know, em embracing the older version that I remember before, you know, all the, the fancy things started happening. You started getting the Puffle Hotel and the Puffle Play area. And, you know, as you saw the pond, all the extra areas in the mine area. It just became a, a big old mess. So, uh, Club Penguin New Written is really nice, but it's also very simple. If you like Club Penguin, but you like more areas to actually explore, this is probably not going to be the version for you. You know, if you're looking forward to a new adventure every day, uh, CP Online, it definitely seems to me like that version 
attracts more attention because there's so much more going on as far as you know what's on the map, what you can do, all that kind of a thing. Club Penguin Rewritten is definitely, in my opinion, a much quieter version because it's, because it is simplified. But you know, you can take your pick exactly which one you like. And I like each version that I've played so far for its different attributes. So, yeah. Like I say, in the end, you kind of have to make your own decision. I can't make it for anybody but my own self. And I, I will continue to play CP online because I do, I do like the fact that there's a lot more to explore. And the pins are there. And it definitely has a lot more of the older feel. But it also has a lot more of the upgraded look. The older feel that um, CP Online brings is like the pins and a few other aspects of the game which, which are older but still more enjoyable. A lot of the uh, original games are there to play. Uh, the, uh, the coffee bag game in the coffee shop and Puffle Roundup. It, that, those, those games are still there. Those are still essential to both versions, but there are there are additional games to play on CP Online, which kind of makes it a little, little bit more fun. Uh, Club Penguin Rewritten has you know the basics, you know none of the fancy puffles or anything like that. So once again, I guess it depends on if you're more like classic nostalgia versus a little bit more moderate upbeat version with some additional t twists and turns, you're going to have to make that decision for yourself. I do like Club Penguin be written because I do feel that it's, it's quieter here and it's also a lot more like the game that I remember to start with. When I started playing, I'm going to guess it was 2008. So I don't think I was playing earlier than that. With that basically said, uh, Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you guys again in another video sooner or later. Okay, bye everybody.